are going to create an app that will allow us to add an event to the calendar. It's a pretty simple app, but will give you a good overview of how to use some of the basics of Automator. To start, we need to launch Automator, which can be found in the Applications folder. The first thing we are greeted with is the Document Type Selection Sheet. There are several options that build a different kind of workflow for specific uses, such as a service or folder action. We are going to choose Application. Now would be a good time to save our Automator workflow. Do this by choosing File, Save, or by clicking the untitled name at the top of the Automator window. Give it an appropriate name, in our case, Add to Calendar. The Automator interface is very simple. We have a library on the left, which is organized into categories. Inside each category are relevant blocks that can be added to the workflow. You add them to the workflow by dragging them into the workflow area. At the bottom, there is an information pane which gives details of how to use the selected block. We will start by selecting calendar from the library list and then choosing and dragging into the workflow area the new calendar event block. This becomes the first instruction that is run when the application is launched. But currently, it will just create a new event right now using these details without showing anything to the user. We want to expose this step to the user so that they can select the appropriate options before creating the event. To make the step visible, Click on the options and put a tick in the box, show this action when the workflow runs. Click save. We have just created an application that will add an event to the calendar. We can test it by double clicking the app. We're going to add a notification. In the library, select Utilities and drag a display notification block onto the bottom of the flow. Now, once the event has been created, a notification will be shown. We give it the title, Event Added, and the message, Your event has been added to your calendar. Again, we can test the app. Finally, it would be helpful for the user if we showed a little more information in the notification. Up by the Actions button, there is a Variables button that lists all of the variables that we have access to. Choose User from the list of variables and drag first name into the message text of the notification and change the text so that it now says, First name, your event has been added to your calendar. We can also add our own variables to store information. We're going to add a variable that stores the name of the event as added by the user. Select text from the library list and drag an ask for text into the top of the flow. In the question box, type please name your event and in the default answer type my new event. Be sure to tick the require an answer option to make sure the user inputs something. Next, drag a set value of variable block from the utilities section into the flow immediately after the ask for text action. Click on the new variable option and rename it event name. The text that was input by the user in the first action flows into our variable and is stored. At the bottom of the flow window, we now get a list of the variables in use and we can drag them from here to the correct positions in our workflow. Drag the event name variable to the name field in the new calendar event action. When the flow runs, the variable will be substituted with the variable contents, which in this case is the text the user has input. Next, add it to the display notification action so that our text now reads, first name, your event, event name has been added to your calendar. Hit save. 
now we have added some extra functionality to our workflow. When we test it, we are able to add a name for the event, configure extra details, and add it to the calendar, being notified of its success. Thank you.